So my moment is actually sort of a pair of moments. Um, I grew up as a musician, and it always came really easily to me. You know, started with piano like a lot of people, and picked up bassoon in like fifth grade, and that came really easily. Uh, and I didn't really take it seriously until I went to Interlochen, National Center for the Arts in Michigan. And that just kind of blew my mind, because uh, it's just full immersion all day, every day, eight weeks, a new full concert of classical music every week. Um, and then I became a professional bassoonist very young when I was like 14. Uh, but that also kind of was a two-edged sword because I burned out on classical music really early. Uh, and you know, my teachers wanted me to go to Eastman, Juilliard, Curtis, one of those schools, and I really didn't want to. Um, and uh, I'd started a rock band when I was in high school. Um, we were not great. But uh, the day that I realized my dad had this uh, TIAC reel-to-reel, -reel, and I realized that you could record on the right channel and then mono and then bounce that back to the left channel and record something else on top of that and then just do that indefinitely. And that was a rabbit hole of multi-track recording that I fell into and have never come back out of. And so now it's a big part of what I do, engineering, film scoring, and composition. I started out just doing covers of my favorite tunes and singing the vocals and then singing the harmonies and then singing another harmony. And I played a bunch of instruments so I could play them all. Uh, and this is kind of at the same time as the um, early four-track recorders started to come out, but there really wasn't a way to do that without being, you know, spending a ton of money and being in a real full-on studio. As a high school kid, you know, there was, that was my only access to it, uh, to multi-track record myself. And it basically opened the world of composition to me um, because I had a way, you know, I was trying to write stuff, and, but I had no way to really hear it except for getting people to say, hey, can you play this part, can you play that part, you know? But having, being able to just sit there and do it and record myself over myself all day at home was just, you know, opened the whole world of music to me, I think.